I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. Deepfakes have been tricking people into scams and fraud, and they are now so realistic that people can't tell the difference between what's real and what's digitally generated. The Federal Communications Commission has now outlawed all robocalls that employ AI-generated voices after deepfake calls imitating the voice of President Joe Biden encouraged voters not to show up to participate in the New Hampshire primary. The problem is becoming so bad that it's now fueled the world's first AI deepfake heist. This month, a multinational company lost $25 million in a heist after employees at its Hong Kong branch were tricked by deepfake technology. Scammers reportedly set up a video conference featuring deepfake videos of the company's chief financial officer and other employees instructing a worker to transfer money to them. And it worked. Hong Kong police are not releasing the name of the company, so we don't know which company this is referring to uh, because they're doing an investigation. But as this technology improves, it's only gonna get harder for the average person to tell the difference. So we need effective deepfake detection tools but unfortunately, deepfakes are outpacing those current detection methods. Wait, so how did this guy actually pull this heist off? So we don't have any details because they don't wanna release that information as they're investigating because they don't wanna give it away. I'm imagining that this must have been somebody pretty high up in the company that obviously had access to transfer massive amounts of money to somebody. And it must have been somebody that would regularly have calls with the CFO if not, this employee is a complete moron uh, or is probably involved in it somehow, who knows? Yeah, but they also had the sophistication to be able to create a deep fake that was convincing enough. Yes, and I'm wondering if it was even live. So if they had this video that was uh. maybe live and the CFO, because I, I imagine if you're on a video conference, it has to be live talking and talk back. Otherwise, it would be really weird. And that's a lot of money. I can't imagine any employee would just suddenly transfer that money without being pretty certain that what they're doing is something that they should be doing or that they normally do. Reminds me of Office Space, where they pulled a scam on their company, but this is the modern day equivalent of that scam. If Office Space was made today, that's how they would pull off a scam. <laughs> Oh, shit. So Tyson, remember when we did our other deep fake episode and you said you didn't really care if someone made deep fakes of you because it wouldn't matter, but now they're so realistic that it does matter. This technology is wild. It could be potentially super dangerous, not only scamming people out of money, but it could completely ruin your life. Someone could make a deep fake video of you that nobody can tell is fake and it could cost you a lot. It's like we're gonna have to go back to how we used to do things face to face in person. Yeah. Until the robots get so convincing that you can't tell if it's a robot. Give that another 30 or 40 years. I mean, you're right. It would be funny that now businesses are conducted offline and they just yeah. go back to like writing things by hand and meeting in person. Right. Oh man, everyone's going back to the office. The days of Zooming are over. We're gonna ride horses. <laughs> that might be a good idea because my parking spot is so thin that I can't fit a car in there, but a horse, a horse would work. I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Now, what do you see? So I know some companies are wanting to put watermarks on some of their AI generated video to try to combat this, but let me ask you this as somebody who works with videos and Photoshop and knows how to remove watermarks, do you think that's really gonna do anything? They wanna put watermarks on AI generated video right from the get-go when it's generated, like why would a company make itself do that? I don't see the companies. I think they're doing that because numbers. they're trying to avoid regulations. And so if they try to implement this now, maybe it'll prevent that. I don't know. Or they're just trying to get ahead of the problem because they know they're going to get a lot of flack if their products are being used to generate deep fakes. Yeah, but aren't there black market AI generation tools now? Someone's going to invent that. Like the technology is not just held in one company. So I don't see that being a yeah. Good solution. Yeah, I think you're right. Look, deep fakes are here to stay. They're going to be absolutely everywhere and there's nothing we can do about it. It's already really hard right now to know what information is real or not. This is just gonna make everybody even more confused than they've ever been before. They're not gonna be able to trust anything. 
Yeah, and we're gonna have to go through a period where people are more scammed than ever before. Yeah, just like Which scamming has already increased since the pandemic because so many people were unemployed that they all just became scammers because nobody had money. Uh, so scamming will just keep going up and up. As the rich get richer, the poor get poor. We're gonna live in a world where rich people are scammed all the time. That's the sign of the times, I guess. I guess so. It's like, there are two jobs for people that are poor and unemployed. You can become a <laughs> scammer or you can do porn. Or you can do porn and scam people with porn. You know, corporate accounting is sure as hell gonna notice 305,300. 2613, Michael! Be sure to subscribe if you like this episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Brigida.